Watch you guys got another video here for you. Use this trick to avoid slow internet speed. If you are suffering from Wi-Fi congestion, then you can use this trick to basically get better Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi Analyzer is a tool. So this software is for a PC or laptop. And if you have a mobile phone, you can download Wi-Fi Analyzer software there and walk around your home and find the best signal strength in that home and then know whether you have to boost that Wi-Fi signal in your home. But you can use it on a computer as well. Unfortunately, when I was making this video, I didn't have any Wi-Fi antennas screwed into the back of the uh, Wi-Fi on the back of the motherboard on this PC. So the signal strength is going to be pretty low. But if you look at the bottom on the graph, you can see those graphs are pretty big. And that's what you should be expecting to see when you run this on a Wi-Fi connection. You do need to be connected to the Wi-Fi I'm actually connected to an Ethernet right now, so I need to quickly unplug that and make sure I'm using my Wi-Fi connection so I can show you. Otherwise, you're going to get this error right here, Wi-Fi adapter not found. And that's because we are connected via the Ethernet cable. Once I switch it over, you'll see the signal strength is pretty low, so I'm not expecting to see too much, but it will give you an idea of how you can find the best channel for your Wi-Fi in your home. It's going to be a lot easier doing this by a mobile because you can then walk around your home and find the best signal channels for each room and make sure you're on those channels to make sure you're getting the best possible Wi-Fi for your home. But this is a tutorial for being on a PC or laptop. Now, if you've got a laptop, that's, of course, going to be mainly Wi-Fi connection. So you just have to let it connect. And then once it connects, it's going to scan your Wi-Fi and give you the best signals for you to use so it should start to populate in a second and then once that's done uh, we will be able to see what we're getting make sure you select your country where you are it's searching my network now and there we go it's now connected so it's telling us right here we have minus 75 dbm and i can already see it's give us a speed of 288 mbps that's what we're getting with our connection now this is a one gigabit ethernet connection on here so we should be getting faster speeds than that and if i put the antennas in we probably will do but you can see already it's given us some information about our network card that we have on here if you look at the analyze it will give you the analyze of the network this will give you the graph of the channels that you're using on this computer and you can then change the channel inside your router to make sure you're getting the best possible Wi-Fi connection in your home. So let me just quickly go over to the Analyze button and we'll take a look there. So you can see we're on channel 36 right now and the bandwidth megahertz is 20. This can be up to inside your router. You can see the frequency there and it does give you other information like WPA2 that we're using, which is our uh, encryption. And you can see AES CCMP is used in there as well. So let's go to the Analyze button and we can analyze this connection and see what's going on. Now, you're not going to see a massive graph here. And the reason why is because of my connection is not that great right here on Wi-Fi. Uh, but you can see right here, there's a little connection there telling me that number three is the strongest uh, channel to go on to. And that's on 2.4 gigahertz. You can check the 5 gigahertz band as well. So you can do that down on the bottom. You'll be able to change that. Now, if you've got strong Wi-Fi signals here, they will be peaking up quite high. But because I'm on a PC and I don't really use the Wi-Fi on here, the signal's pretty rubbish. But down the bottom, you've got graph here, and you can change this to whatever you like. So channels, graph, you can change the 2.4 to 5 gigahertz or even 6 gigahertz. If your NIC supports it, you'll be able to do it. Networks is right here. This gives you all of the networks and all of the strength for those networks. Some of them uh, will be out of range. That means you're not picking it up. And you can see we have another one right here now picking up six and three. So six has now become stronger uh, than three. So you can have a good look here. You should have better graphs than what I've got here, but you get the general idea of what this actual tool does. I just quickly want to show you the uh, five gigahertz band here so we can see what that looks like here. And that will come up in a different color here. So come down uh, to the bottom right hand side and we'll change this to from 2.4 to 6 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz so we're going to go 5 because this network doesn't support 6 
So there we go. Now we can see the peak right here. And these are the peaks that you're getting right here under 5 gigahertz. 6 won't show anything because the card doesn't support it. So hopefully this will give you a better understanding of the signal strength in your home for your computer. If you've got a really good strong signal on one other channel that your setting is not set to, then obviously you would want to put it on that channel. You do not want to choose channels with high congestion. There's apps you could use on your mobile phone that would give you also uh, better readings where you can walk around your home. That's a much more probably solid way of doing it. I just wanted to show you this way just so it gives you another option on your laptop or PC. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you in the very next video or see you on the Discord server. Bye for now.